He is young, strong and hungry. Meet Samuel H. Lavati, a pro trial driver from Slovakia. This is Bike Trial TV, episode 3, recorded live on December 29th, 2018, so just for the end of the year. Hello, everyone. Hello. And as you can see, we again, we are having a special guest on the show. Say hi to Samuel Hlavate. Was it like any close to pronunciation? Yeah, like... It was correct. Yeah? Think, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Samuel... Tell us something about yourself. Like, so I'm 19 years old. I'm riding trials since 2008, and I'm just riding trials on the highest level this year and trying to be as good as I can. So, sounds great. So, are you riding first year uh, in elite? Categ yeah, this category? is my first year in elite. So. And uh, like any recent achievements? Yeah, I did third place in Berlin at World Cup and I finished fifth at World Championships. So not bad, not bad. Not bad. Sounds not great, bad. like for <laughs> first year. So put your hands together for Samuel. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you like it. Uh, awesome. So you guys have been cooperating for some time now? Yeah, it's more than one year, so yeah, it's we're working together. We start in ex actually second year. Yeah. So this is your second year of cooperation. Yeah, but I know Samuel from a long time ago. Okay. I remember he, when he was young, because we, like our countries here are quite close. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and we don't have uh, as many competitions as it was before in Slovakia. Now, now in Slovakia is also I think not as good. Yeah, when I was young, I used to travel to Poland to some competitions, and also yeah. I saw Karol in Slovakia. Yeah, so we know each other for a long time. And I think uh, that everyone knows that Samuel is talented for trials. Um, so for for how long have you been riding trials? It's more than 10 years, I guess. More than 10 years now. Uh, yeah. So tell us. But, sorry, but mm -hmm. when he said Go 10 ahead. years, I realized like, wow, it's not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then he was, much. yeah, because he's so young. <laughs> yeah. I've been already riding for almost five months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, so, so I like, will like, not say anything now. <laughs> Your levels are like mind blowing for me, guys. I mean, it's yeah, a long it's, story. It's mind blowing is that I'm riding much more than he has here. He have, he is old. Yeah, <laughs> that that's also great. <laughs> uh, so, what's your average week looks like? How much do you train? How many training sessions? What you do? Like, is it bike only or also some other yeah. stuff? It depends what training plan I have from Carl. And I used to train like five mm -hmm. times a week. On the bike and three times in the gym. He used to. So yeah. like I mean when? Yeah it, in the like, season. Yeah, in the season. When you have a little little bit more wo work uh, the like the weather is really good for training outside yeah. and you are in the season and you need to focus to train hard and then yeah, then the bike is four to five times per week. Four to five times per week. Yeah. Uh mainly it's this the but <clears throat> with the gym is like two, three sessions in the gym. Close to the season is just two sessions in the gym is enough to keep your strength level. And but we don't add any other trainings. So there is no running. There is no endurance, cardio, or how you call it, mm -hmm. because it's not necessary. So if you compare to other sports, it's not as much. Eight sessions is not 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 too much. It's not much. No, for the professional level, it's not not, not okay. much. Uh, I know you also study. Yeah. So, 
how how do you do that? I mean, so much training at yeah, university. It's, it's my first year at the university, and I'm <laughs> it's like too much things at once. So I'm trying to just put it all together and just keep training and do it. That's just it. Don't pass yeah. to the next yeah. semester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> don't give up. So are you already after your exam session? No, I just so uh, finished some exams before the finals. So like I need to do finals exam in January and then I have like free time for a while and again study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next semester. Yeah. Oh my god, that's like <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, we I forgot how it is. <laughs> uh yeah so before you started working with carol uh was your training like any different yeah it was like i used to train like all the time every day uh like, so, so like yeah. what training what like bike only yeah only bike and some other sports like just doing i used to play floorball but it was too much at once so My body was But tired. I, I think yeah. you also uh, you also train Muay Thai. Yeah, like wow, three years That's ago. That's great. Huh? I used to uh, train like twice a week. And I need to adjust your mic a little, like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and just put your mouth closer to the yeah. mic a little bit. So. Uh, okay, yeah. we are back. <laughs> so oh. what was so the change? Like, like what I remember when I asked him, okay, how how look you're training, and he said, yeah, I'm training twice per day. Okay, when you have rest day, uh, uh -huh. two weeks ago. Oh, okay, <laughs> 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 uh, I remember this very well. That is wow. So, okay, I understand. So you are all the time overtrained. Is Actually, it's easy like this. You don't feel it. Like you have two types of over, two types of overtraining. Mm -hmm. First type is like you all the time feel good. You feel in like you feel like you have power and you train all the time, all the time, all the time. And this is also kind one kind of overtraining. Really? So you feel that yeah, I'm training hard. Yeah, next training. Yeah, I'm pushing. But your level is almost the same. The yeah, same. You not you not go like you cannot improve your level so you can really you, you can be overtrained without like bad feeling without feeling that you actually maybe don't feel it but so training yeah i had no idea about that yeah, and second type of overtraining is actually that you feel shit <laughs> okay i know that one <laughs> <laughs> you all the time <laughs> yeah. no but but can, can you really because w when you do like the way i think about that is when you do something constantly Like without days off, yeah. two training sessions a day, your body eventually like gets totally adjusted to what you do. Yeah, and then you and then you, it's hard to feel um, that you have more power. It's hard to feel that you have less energy. It's the same. Sorry, my phone is calling. I just uh, yeah, press the button. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are back again. Mm. So. Because I can imagine that doing same stuff like over and over again, you eventually stop progressing. Like there's no new stimuli to your body, right? But overtraining, really? Yeah, because it's mental. It's uh, uh, mental overtraining. Yeah. So your mind is overtrained, and like you used to do the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Also, I think the. Nerve system is like it's kind of uh, how to how to say it. Mm, used to the same, exactly the same day. Every day is the same, like, and you don't realize that something is wrong. It's really hard to realize, and this kind of overtraining is is worse than really? the other. Okay, yeah. that sucks because it's really hard to get out of this. And actually, I when I was young, I do the same, mm -hmm. as I remember when I was. 15 or 16, I do the same exactly. Yeah, most of the riders do the same thing. I trained so yeah. much, so much. Okay. And now I know that my body is really, um, I need to be careful to not train too much because it's very easy to get into the same. You know? Wow. Well, yeah. It's great to know that. I mean, it's very important. 
Uh, I had no idea about those. It's very, of it's very important to like when you set up any plan. So if you set trainings, you need to have the same for rest. It need to be balanced. And rest as a rest, like good sleep, rest day, but also recovering process. Any kind, I don't know, sauna, anything. You need to have in your mind that you need to have it and you need to put it, even if you don't like it, you, it's better to resign from one training session and put recovery day, full day doing nothing. Okay. Like you need to do it. <clears throat> so we've been training together already for uh, two years. Yeah, uh, almost, almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. Uh, yeah. Approaching two years. Uh, so what's changed? Like, what has changed like after, you know, starting working out with Carol? Like the biggest progress is like that my body feels better on the bike. I can feel improvement with every training and it's just, um, I keep improving every day. So I can feel that because before, as I used to train every day, I, I just feel like I'm doing the same thing all the time. And that's already what, that's what Carl already said. Like it's over training and you need to just do something different and then it pays off. And I, I would say, I would say the same uh, thing that we, I said when Thomas was here, that the very good option is this gym training because it gives okay. you something totally new. Like you have new nerve system, have actually new work to do. And this is recovering from the bike. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah? So yeah. I think proper strength training changed a lot. Uh, so what's, what's the most important in strength training that you can jump higher? I mean, what no, do we really no, do no, it no. for? No, 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 it's the second, second uh, important. <laughs> the first thing is just healthy, be being ha have healthy body. Okay. Because it, it prevents injury. This is the main goal of strength training. Always, always, it's always in the front. Because if you, if you are healthy, you can train as long as you want without any problems. Yeah, so this should be like a Carol's shameless plaque. This is strength <laughs> training with Carol Serwin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For healthy. Yeah, body. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I already know most of that. That's why that can like sound a little bit strange when, I, when I'm asking those questions. But uh, like you were the first person to tell me what, what we really do strength training for. That it's not only, you know, to have bigger bicep or better bench press. It's actually to prevent injuries. Yeah, of course. Mostly. Of course that for riders, it not, it's not need to be the most important. But I am a coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. I need to think about it, you know, as a coach. But... Of course, riders know that mm -hmm. it's not like 100%, but if you improve your, uh, I don't know, maximum squat or this kind of stuff, you will feel much stronger on the bike. I I will not say that you will jump higher because it not, doesn't need to be like this, but, but uh, you will feel much stronger and this gives you a lot of self-confidence that, yeah, I'm stronger. And it actually... Only this makes you better. Mm -hmm. mm, have you ever had like any injuries on the bike? Not like big injuries, but I have some few like broken nose and just a little stops, but nothing big. Like last year I broken my my wrist in the winter and I had... Just on the beginning of yeah. the winter training. Yeah. Really? Just oh. on the beginning. Yeah. So I had Too to bad. stop for like... It was five weeks, I think, and was just then trying to start training again. It was like so hard, and I. Mm -hmm. But it's already <clears throat> like I can feel it. I I can still feel the broken wrist, but it's yeah. Kind of good. Uh, so maybe let, let's maybe get back to the previous topic, uh, since we are talking about the gym. So, Carol, what would you say is like most important? in the gym for trials riders? Like what exercises? Oh. If we can get like more into details. <laughs> because la last time we forgot to, to discuss those those parts. 
It's a very hard question. It's so hard to answer. Yeah, you, 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 we are professionals, so. Mm. <laughs> I would say that uh, the first most important thing is core. But <clears throat> a lot of writers concentrate only what I saw. And from most of sports people concentrate on training core as a only core exercise. Okay. Of course, it's important. But you need to have proper technique on each exercise, each lift, like deadlift and squat. If you have proper technique, you train your core in each every repetition. Yeah. Then you train your core all the time. And this makes you much stronger at all. Yeah. Because core transfer energy from legs to arms, from arms to legs, this this it's all it's base. Yeah. yeah. So can't argue I, with that. I, mm-hmm. I would I would say the core is most important as a base. Mm. Second, I would say that is uh, proper mobility for uh, for mm-hmm. uh, for if you have good mobility on every exercise in the gym, you have enough mobility to be healthy and ride the bike. Mm-hmm. Mm, third thing is that trials is mm, not symmetric. So you have one leg in the front all the time. If you look closer to the most of the riders, some 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 riders don't even not hold the handlebar straight. They hold, hold like this. Okay. So it's a little bit turned to one side. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like yeah, okay, he hold like <coughs> this, but if you like ride like this for Fifteen years, then it makes a really big difference in your <laughs> building of your body. So yeah, really. <clears throat> yeah, and some riders hold like this, you know. Even yeah, yeah, you need to look look closer. I had no but idea. But because that. of the <coughs> no unsymmetric placement of the feet, he, the pelvis works different. So it's really important to prevent injury because of that. So if it's not strong enough. If the core is not strong enough and the, uh, all muscles all, all around the pelvis, like it's very easy to have back problems. And if you, when you talk with riders, the main issue is back problem. Yeah. Stable shoulder because you have a lot of like fast pushing okay. mov- movements. So this, all this is, I think I would say this is most important. Yeah. For trials. In strength training, of course, books says that for plyometric for jumping, plyometric, yeah. What is that? Plyo is just jumping. <laughs> I can say in general plyometric okay. is sounds like a very sophisticated word. Plyo, ah, plyo boxes like those. Yeah, for doing box jump. Yeah. So yeah. that so explains all, the all, name. All jumping exercise you can. Call it plyometric. And uh, for this exercise, book says that your squat should be around two times your body weight. Should be. Yeah, and then it then, then, <laughs> then jumping, then jumping, absorbing energy, jumping, landing, uh-huh. and all the time the same. It's healthy. Then, only then. <laughs> yeah, so you can imagine how, how it is. Yeah. It's like incredible. So my squat should be 170 yeah it's not <laughs> it's not any close <laughs> i know too bad uh that's a re- re- really great yeah then now now it's the really big great. advantage that he, he's so light you know it's yeah much, so much easier <laughs> oh and this is actually a very good idea we, we we've been talking about that before so so we can ask you samuel like a uh, private question yeah <laughs> what that, is your body weight <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very private. Uh, a bunch of very private questions. So, like your body weight and your PRs in all the main lifts. Okay. I think that's a great theme to to ask yeah. our guests that question. Yeah. So I'm 66 kilograms, but I've never tried like uh, squat maximum. Okay. I only tried like uh, uh, deadlift, and it's like 150. So it's I've it it was maximum, but I. But it felt like I can do a little bit more, so 
That's fucking incredible. Yeah. So you felt you can do more. Yeah, but so let's estimate to one fifty-five, one sixty. One fifty-five. Yeah. One fifty-five yeah. divided by sixty-six is two point three. Not bad. I think it's a lot. Yeah, it's not bad. It's outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's, it's not the main factor to any anything because. You can be very strong and you can be very slow as well. So it will well, yeah. help you mm -hmm. to anything. And bench because press? Because it's not so simple. Uh, no, we but just actually, started ben bench press. We, yeah. we actually... Okay. <clears throat> so next time. We just time. start, like, now we start learning bench press because yeah. it's, like, a long way. You start le mm -hmm. learning bench press, you learn one year, and then you, you can start bench press. Actually, this is my way. <laughs> okay. Learning. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, so next time we are having you, we're gonna ask you that question. Yeah, I like will try to do some like bench press try. squat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's so easy to go. Like you, you imagine like to go body weight is just sixty six kilo. Yeah, but you, you always relate like your your uh, PRs to body weight, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's the way of doing fair. things. Yeah, it's it's that's more fair. Uh, also, like uh, I know, uh, I saw you riding, and like what is very incredible for me is that you jump like from nowhere. I mean, because <laughs> pl plenty, plenty of riders they set up like you know very deeply to do like a side hop or or anything, and yourself, you are just like you are here, and in the next second you are on yeah. that big rack over there, like just yeah. My setup <laughs> is like not very like deep. I just do a quick movement and then just leave. Can you guys explain to me why how, how that's possible? I mean, <laughs> yeah, because he he's light, so he's fast. That's the that's the diff that's the only thing. I would say, yeah. If you are yeah. heavier, you like need to help more your body. Okay, too. so that's not part of the training. It's just your your physique and no, no, just no, the way your I, body I, works. I, I would say even that it's style. Okay, like you're riding, and of course when you're training so many years, you naturally push your body to get to the limits mm -hmm. and you you're, you naturally do with some style and the style allows you to jump more. Of course, it's not always like this, but in pure jumps like rear to rear or side hop or this kind of stuff, it's, I would say it's this. Uh, yeah, also another very unique thing about your riding I, I've noticed is that you hold your handlebars uh, something like that. Yeah, I have like it's little nice. space on, on those sides, like for maybe one centimeter on each side. Like I yeah, hold it. I think yeah. he, Fred means no, elbows. No, I, I, I mean they the are a little bit elbows. down. So, yeah. so your wrists are like very deeply, like from the top a little yeah. bit on the handlebars. I mean Japanese style. Okay. <laughs> Actually, like if helped, you look at the yeah. Japan, most of the Japanese like rise like this. Yeah, it helps me like in front movements. Like I have my hands closer to the body, and I can do like push my body more to the bars and just go deeper to the front. Yeah, but so, as you okay, see, it's, makes sense. It's, it's style. He, 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 now he can realize that, yeah. yeah, because I have elbows, I can go more, but he, mm -hmm. he don't even think about it before. He just jump like this, it's better, so I will do like this. Okay, gotcha. It so, came natural. So you, you are progressing. Yeah, like, yeah, now athlete. I'm thinking about yeah. it, like, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Right, because that was like the very first thing for me I, I've noticed looking at you. Yeah. It's like, what? What, what? what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how, how, how do they say modliska in English, but it's like, you know, that that bug. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, but his style is also really soft. Like, when you look at him, it's like, he's really soft on the obstacles. Yeah. He's not hit, he's not, not stiff. It's really... Like it, it, you see, it's more flow when he's riding, and I also really like it. Yeah, you and Montalvo, he's also yeah. like very, very, very smooth. At least, at least for me. Yeah. Uh, but my observations are that if you are riding a lot in uh, natural, slippery ground, your style is more soft. Because if you you need to f used to the the conditions you have mm -hmm. and you cannot ride stiff <clears throat> on wet slipper it's impossible why you just crash all the time <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I felt that last week for the first time, like trying to hook on those pallets. I mean, like too much rebound. Yeah. W- yeah. When you when you approach the obstacle, uh, like it knocks you back. Yeah. So yeah. So for all of you beginning riders, uh, yeah, that's the reason. But I can what I can say from more observations I have because I I train with uh, guys uh, a lot this year. We have few camps and. I can observe observe it, like differences between uh, Samuel, Thomas, Jonas, Christiansen, and you can see the what is the difference actually. And some jumps, like for Thomas, which we, like you when you look at Thomas, you see that his jump much higher than Samuel. Like almost only Joachim can jump probably higher than Thomas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Thomas is a very powerful rider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Thomas is a very powerful rider. So, but we have this kind of uh, rocks in the on the Polish camp this year that you have very soft ground. So you cannot, like if you give a lot of energy into mm-hmm. the ground, it will not give you back. So you need to also jump quite smooth from the ground if you cannot like pull very fast and the rock was really round yeah and Samuel did it first you know like the guys on the first five tries guys were lost like they don't know Thomas don't know what's happening like he's okay. jumping like always like full power and it, it not work it doesn't work you know okay. he, he hit the rock and like slipped down Samuel, he, like, his riding is really smooth. So he start really smooth. And he's also really, like, soft on the rock so he can grab the rock. And he's also light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So his body weight not push him back. <laughs> she's like, this is amazing. I mean, <laughs> so, and you look at this, like, wow. It's just, like, so soft. Go on. Like, on. the number of levels of freedom in the sport, like all the variables, what can yeah. change. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 What what changes that requires on your side to to accustom to those like constantly changing environment? That's incredible in this sport for me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like like I said like last time, it's like 4D chess, playing 4D <laughs> chess. It's a reference to Star yeah, Trek. Sometimes sometimes you train and you cannot, or or guys have problem with some jump, and you sit and you like start to think, why why is the problem and like. So many thoughts, and then suddenly, after twenty-two years of my writing, it's like, wow, <laughs> something new. Yeah. yeah, you realize something new that this is a problem. You know, it's like, wow, so many years for nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. But <clears throat> I can say again about the this, this ground because it's really like shows a lot about style of riding. That most of the riders who watch uh, World Cup in Antwerp will remember that in the final there was a section with on the sand this, there was sand section like you have rocks and between the rocks was sand mm-hmm. and there was a half pedal hook yeah in the, half pe- in the finals half pedal hook and Thomas struggled a lot <laughs> and it was really not big okay and because I would say half pedal hook so you have only like half. yeah you have l- yeah. like if you're right pedal you go left right and you hook okay riding jump yeah and that's called so, a half pedal yeah oh uh, why because you because only... one pedal is you start from right you go left right jump okay this is one pedal it's like full it's full it's one pedal gotcha and half pedal is you start with opposite leg. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. only one revolution. Yeah, it's really short move. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I saw you practicing that thing last time. Yeah, in Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, and there was a sand, and actually Thomas struggled a lot. And the jump for him, if you, if you if he, he will jump from the ground, he will try to to the rear wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I okay. know I know what he can do, and he yeah. struggled because he put so much force into the ground, and the sand absorbs. So 
Mm-hmm. It's not possible. And this is the different. Samuel will do it. He will can close eyes and he will do it like first try. I'm sure. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm 100% sure. First try, he will do it. Thomas, struggle, struggle, struggle. So you're like Legolas from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you know, he, he was running, <laughs> kind of. He was running on top of snow. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's yeah, a very okay. good metaphor for like, that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Legolas, I like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, you awesome. Need to, to put on the frame like very small letters. Like, <laughs> I'm Legolas. <laughs> now we can kiss my dick. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we are, we don't know that you have this type type of thoughts, you know, like <laughs> about dick of Legolas. <laughs> No, but if if I were a Legolas, you know, I would be like very um, proud of being Legolas, right? He he was a cool <laughs> character, <laughs> so all the chicks could just kiss my dick. Yeah, but if you can choose any person from the the movie Lord of the Rings, shit, you want to be Legolas? <laughs> no, Aragorn, <laughs> Aragorn, like hands down, Aragorn. Yeah. Okay. I mean, who other? Come on. I, I oh, want to be this. Uh, I rem- I forgot the the guy. The long white hair, this magician. Oh, Gandalf. Gandalf. I want to be <laughs> Gandalf, Gandalf. The Grey, really. Ah, because uh, he was a wizard, right? Yeah. So. He had knowledge. I like it. <laughs> and yourself, Samuel? Yeah, I just being yourself. <laughs> uh, so but you need to choose yeah. one person from the Lord of the Rings. It's kind of hard. Yeah. You remember the know. persons or not much? Yeah, I've seen it like many years ago, so I don't. Oh, okay. I don't, even, I don't even remember. I, I think I think yeah. he he want to be Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Frodo was cool. Yeah, Frodo was cool. Yeah, yeah but it's also like a Big, you know why? Because Frodo was the youngest, <laughs> so <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> ah. he's so young that he cannot be anyone. Uh, but he was also the most important. Like he was bearing the ring. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. All the rest was there only for Frodo. <laughs> yeah. They were supporters. He was the main character. True. So it's not yeah. a bad place to not be in. Place, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but it's also a good question to make it like a repeating theme. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Max is <laughs> in the gym, and then which person from the Lord of the yeah. Rings you want to be? Okay. Exactly. We need to write it down. Mm-hmm. So don't forget. Okay. Next question. We can make like a transition sound. <laughs> Cool. How would you summarize your season? Are you like happy? Yeah, I'm or? happy, especially with the ending of the season because I started like not so good, but it like graduated to the best results at the end of the season. So, so what was not good for you? Like just doing so stupid mistakes in semifinals at World Cups and mm-hmm. just not being so concentrated about my riding. So. Mm, so, just to remind you, were third in World Cup yeah. general. No, no, Berlin. F- no? fifth. Only in, in Berlin, general. fifth. Okay, and yeah. also fifth. Uh, world. World. In the world. Yeah. And also fifth in uh, no sixth in the ranking UCI. Or oh, fifth in the ranking. fifth in the UCI yeah. ranking. This is really That's important. Great. Yeah. Out of how many? So Eighty. Last year, like world champ is exactly. I think world championship to uh it's not so simple to you know, explain. No, it's, I'm just asking how, how No, many? I think I think it's exactly one year back. Yeah? Yeah. This? yeah. One year back. So if uh, you are starting in world championship, the the points from the championship last year stop counting and you add mm-hmm. the points from the yeah. so it's upgrading all the time. One year back. So I would say not bad. Yeah. <laughs> so your yeah. First year in the lead, come on. Yeah. Uh, so what are your goals for next season? It, all, it always can be better, so just improve it and we'll see what happens. Yeah. And any particular numbers, like you're already visualizing in your head that yeah. I want to be like, like on the podium or something? Yeah, I'll just try to be in the finals as much as I can and then it just... You will see, like maybe I can make it to the podium, maybe not. Just, Should. just try it. But the finals are the f- like the biggest goal of the next season, like mm-hmm. to be constantly in the finals and then just 
tried to write and have you been thinking about like maybe spilling some oil on Thomas's brakes, something like that? Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I> no? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's my teammate, so I cannot do it. Uh, no, I, <laughs> yeah, but I, I, we talk. We talk about it that like Thomas told me with Jonas, yeah, Carl, but you know, like we start to be scared of Samuel. <laughs> Because before, like last year, it was, uh -huh. yeah, it's fine, yeah. He's young, he's really motivated, he will push. Everyone mm -hmm. like it. But it's just next year, and it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, you know, like we we are scared of him. <laughs> like after the camp in Poland, I think, it, yeah, they yeah. realized <laughs> what's the difference in the level. So it's not much. I would Great, say. I mean, Uh, but of course we are we are joking around here. Uh, but like for for me for myself, my first competitions I saw in Berlin, yeah, the very outstanding thing for me was that like the atmosphere was very friendly. Yeah. So I got the feeling that you know like all the competitors, you guys, you really like each other. Yeah. And there's no like unhealthy competition. No, I think. no, no, like no, no, no. You compete really with yourself. Yeah. Right. That was my, yeah, my my feeling. Yeah, yeah. Even a very nice picture was uh, on World Championship, actually, in the finals, when Dominic Oswald asked Thomas, like, what do you think? What, yeah. which, which, how, how, you, how will go? I think, yeah, I think I will go here. Like, it's not like, oh, I cannot tell you because we're, you're my opponent, you know? <laughs> no, 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 come on. <laughs> I think, okay, here, yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. It's perfect. It's perfect. Just do your best on the section. Mm -hmm. Outside the section doesn't mm -hmm. matter. <laughs> so just shooting for the stars in next season. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <what happens. laughs> uh, Carol, now a question for you. What changes are we going to introduce in Samuel's training program? Oh, I cannot say it. <laughs> no, it's top secret. <laughs> it's top secret. <laughs> mm, I think the biggest changes need to mm, be in Samuel's head. As he said, he, the biggest problem is mm -hmm. easy fives on easy things. Really, mm -hmm. this is the main problem. Rest is not a problem. Okay, this is the main problem. So it's a lot of work for your head to. Um, I'm, I would not say focus more. I think it's m maybe relax more. Okay, to not be so stressed. Because mainly stress puts you to the easy mistakes. Uh, so here we came to the third element of the training. So we've been talking bikes, we've been talking gym, and now the head. Yeah, yeah, it's important, but mm, I think you need to do it really gently with this. Like each rider is different. You need to like talk with each rider different way. Mm -hmm. so there is no one pattern do this and we'll be better it's like I think it's not working like this and me as a coach in this situation I can only show kind of way you can try and but you need to do it for yourself if you work on it it works then good if it's not working you can say it. yeah I tried but it's not working then I can maybe if I know some other Option, I tell you, okay, try this way. And you need to try it. It's a long, long journey, I think, to improve your head is the, the, the hardest in every sport. But besides of this, uh, we just, we want to make him stronger. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy, okay, so I would say. Yeah, normal really stuff, yeah. Normal yeah. stuff, it's... After no no he's two days now in in Warsaw it's a second day and tomorrow he leaves so we have only three days but I can say that it's a lot a lot of work to do mm -hmm. it's always very good information if if it's easy to feel if he feel it that it's a lot of work to do because I I showed him on exercises you see that you are quite weak in this and we're quite weak in this. Okay. This is really good information, mm -hmm. like very should be happy. Because you know exactly mm -hmm. to what <clears throat> to, to improve. <laughs> It's so simple. 
So we uh-huh. have a lot of to, a lot a lot to improve. So scared everyone. <laughs> scared. <laughs> Some people next year. Uh, do you also do like Carol's crazy sections? Yeah, like all the time when it, when I see that in my plan, I'm like looking forward yeah. to do it. Like <laughs> just. <laughs> uh, do you remember like any particularly standing out one? So something would, you know, still hold your memory. I just love those crazy impossible lines. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for them. And <laughs> uh, yeah, so. and it's mainly rest day. Yeah. It's pure fun. Yeah. yeah. So I, it, it cannot be only that you push, you push, you almost, you know, puke that uh, again, this <laughs> again, 1,000 1, jumps again. No, it needs to be like pure fun. So set crazy technical lines. Perfect for this. Mm-hmm. And as I said before, it works really well because you you no, normally you train on your on your trial park, you will find this jump, this jump. And then you go into the competition, there's no jumps. There's some shitty stuff like who the fuck said <laughs> this section is so stupid. So stupid. And then you're like uh, and then you're not surprised yeah. because you trained it. <laughs> like the other week. We've been training uh, in an indoor place in Grodzisk Mazowiecki yeah. and Karol was hanging from a log <laughs> and trying like all the different body positions for a couple of minutes, I believe. <laughs> and then later he was trying to do something like a pistol squat on the bike <laughs> like, <laughs> while uh, hanging like, you know, from a log. That was just funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I really, it's so interesting for me Mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. find something new in things you did like so many years all the time and you don't yeah. realize that you can improve it in some different strange way. So I really like this goal to, you know how it looks, how we're riding in the indoor place, yeah? Mm-hmm. That I'm riding 10 minutes, after 10 minutes I need to go back to my phone and I like, need to write down my ideas, you know, like I'm writing like this, yes, so cool. And then I'm riding again and I go back and yeah, yeah, I find this. <laughs> half time riding, half time taking notes. Really. Yeah, it's uh, my nature. So uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else we can say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should know. <laughs> I should know. No, I said, I said everything. <laughs> And as I said, I cannot say too much, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. top secret. Top secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, top secret. Jumping to front or jumping to back? To front. <laughs> yeah. For sure. For me. Like, really? For yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, why? <laughs> I just prefer it. Like, I've done it for many years and I feel comfortable doing jumps to front more than to back wheel. Like. Any piece of advice for... Uh, young rider who soon will be learning to jump to front, like anything? Just don't crash yourself. <laughs> don't crash yourself. <laughs> yeah, but... Like any particular try exercises? Try carefully, <clears throat> yeah. Carefully? Yeah, just carefully, just start to the front, just not right into the edge and go crazy for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's thin border between going really well yeah. in the edge and going not well. <laughs> not so well. <laughs> not so well, yeah. Uh, For me, okay. but actually I can I can say more because I start to learn it really late because I'm old school rider. So yeah. when I was riding BIU, no one jumped to front. It's, mm-hmm. And actually it's mental. This jump is really mental. You, If you're scared, you will not pass the, bo- the like long you will not never go high and long if you were scared and I'm still scared a little bit and yeah I'm not sure what happened <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah that's a huge difference like even bikes a few years ago were different when I tried that old school oh, multi yeah, we, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. we have in Grodzisk I it mean changed a lot it's yeah, totally yeah, different yeah. like even to Lean forward on the bike is very, very strange. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But this old school bikes was really good for bunny hops. 
Really? Mm, ah, yeah. it's, it's more like BMX. Yeah, because the BB is low. Ah, Bottom okay, bracket gotcha. is so low that you like it's so easy to pull. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. it was like that. I remember then when Rafael Komorowski uh was jumping 142 bunny hop on the uh black white monty. The monty. Black white. You know, remember the black white with yeah. the seat like this? 142. Uh, it's really high now. <laughs> What's your on this level? PR in bunny hop. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not zero. a bunny hop guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I oh, prefer to just pedal up and that's my thing. <laughs> Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So but like actually, the, the good thing is he knows how to use a kicker so he can ban it from the kicker. This is the good thing because you need you cannot pedal up from the kicker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can only imagine for now. So you're going too fast anyway. So yeah, so Samuel like it's not 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 necessary for him to improve Bunny Hop because his pedal up is so good. It. Okay. Awesome. I mean, if you can. I also like, like, like my dream is to have this kind of problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can be fifth in the world without having good bunny hop, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. who cares? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I have but, no but more questions. Actually, but actually, if you think about it, from the final riders on the world championship. Yeah. I think only Thomas jump like have a really strong bunny hop. Yeah. All the other riders. All the other riders are more pedal. Ella can do bunny hops to front yeah. like okay. crazy. Bunny hop to front, but <laughs> yeah. it's still different. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know how rest of the riders, but I know Joachim of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 He, can, he can jump over the I know. Building. Twenty floor building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't really see any rider who have really, really strong bunny hop. Like from my perspective, of a person who like really trains only for a few months, yeah, bunny hop to front is something, <laughs> like, <laughs> something you know, yeah, hard yeah. to imagine. Even better hop to front, like. But mm, believe yeah. me, that I'm training a little bit more than you, and I have the yeah, same. <laughs> still, <yeah. laughs> I have the same. For me, it's like. I told told to my riders that for me this jump is you you can train it for fun but I don't see really how to use it in competitions like for what I don't, I don't see point to train it for competition there's no so high jumps in competition yeah there are high jumps but you can go to rear okay uh, if if it's slower then you can go to hook but actually you you the Guys who jump bunny to front. It's dangerous in competition. You can easily fall and it's like really? pointless. Yeah. Okay. It's like you can train it for fun, of course. If you yeah. like it, you, you make it makes you fun, then you can train it. So screw that. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> screw jump riding jump to front. Uh yeah. twenty six is different. Really? What's yeah. the difference? Tell me. That the wheels wheels are bigger, so you can be more consistent. In this, with this jump, like you can train it, like really, you do it regular. On small bike, is for me, it's like 50 50 all the time, even if you train it a lot, mm-hmm. it's like almost 50 50. And, okay. and if you spend a lot of time jumping to front, you lost some time of practicing to rear, and the rear is still most important, mm-hmm. so there's no point. Mm. I would say it's my opinion of course but good question for you guys why why they don't do bunny hops at all on 26 wheels oh so hard to pull 26 <laughs> yeah. bike with this new geometry when you yeah. when you stand really? so hard the placement yeah. on the, Come on. the bars in the front it's like too hard to pull it I mean, so on the small bike I explain you small bike you imagine you 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 do power clean imagine yeah you go I don't know, 40, 50 kilo. And you power okay. clean. This is small bike. And then you set 110 and you go on 26. <laughs> Something like this. <laughs> Such a big difference. 
Yeah. So only like uh, I think the weight of the bike and geometry Sergi? is harder to pull. Yeah, I think Sergi, 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 I think Sergi yeah. Yongaras is jumping really good. At his yeah. really strong. So, <laughs> so for him, 110 okay. so in power, power clean is nothing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and next this year, actually not this year, next year, Joachim will ride probably 26. You will see Bali Hop 26 <laughs> for sure. Like, must uh, be 11 so, Palace to you. So, I can only imagine that if one day Thomas transitions to 26, he will be also like, you know, uh, I think if you power like, clean like, to 100, I think if you no like problem. set up proper carbon 26 bike, mm-hmm. yeah, it's quite yeah. light. Yeah, a little bit better setup, the handlebar, I think it's possible. Okay, gotcha. So simply like they don't need to do that. You can pedal up same height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you can, so high. <laughs> I mean, if they don't don't do bunny hops and they jump high, uh, yeah. they need to use something different. Yeah. yeah, there are moments on twenty inch that actually is quite good if you have very strong bunny hop, mm-hmm. especially just very high obstacles. Because for like for me. From from my point of view, it's much easier if you have space for run up. It's much easier to yeah. jump high with if you can jump both. It's much easier to use bunny hop. Spend less energy, less uh, less heavy. Okay, I've got yet another question. Uh, what the situation looks like with training ground availability in Slovakia? Like especially in my trials park, it's like very bumpy and many rocks on the ground, so it's hard to train. But I'm used to it. So in the competition, it's always like easier when I see like just gra- like floor which is straight, straight. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But just let's take a step back. So you already used the keyword. You have trials park. Yeah. Okay. Like very close to my home, like 200 meters. Because and you see what, what, for the riders. Who never been in uh, Rudina, <laughs> mm-hmm. city called come. Rudina in Slovakia. Rudina, I think it's really like top three, or if not three, top five world trial parks for sure. Awesome! Yeah. I like that. Yeah, uh, and it, because, for example, in Warsaw, it's capital city, we don't have a trial yeah. park. Yeah, uh, we do. You have m- we many? have we have trial park actually. The on the Ursinov ah, metro Ursinov. station. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, uh, we we need to we need to do the maybe maybe once we take microphones and we did all session there. Oh yeah, awesome! Yeah, yeah from Warsaw's trial park. Yeah, you'll see our trial park. It's amazing. Yeah, it's but, amazing. But do, do have we have to... two rocks. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, height of the rock is thirty, and the rock is like this. Maximum. <laughs> There is a one wall, two rocks, and one concrete stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> and when we found, I I I, so I I show you that we found another two rocks like this, but we need to like pull it yeah. or yeah yeah like pu- push it actually not pull it, push it mm-hmm. to the place to improve our trial park. So yeah, like ten more years and we will have six maybe right. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This this big <clears throat> like you can imagine mm. this big rock like this. It's really It was pretty heavy. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. the rocks are so small but heavy. <laughs> this is shit. Uh but they the, should be like empty <laughs> inside, yeah? Then you can <laughs> so big rocks have yeah. <laughs> But do, do you have like plenty of trials park across Slovakia? Like not so many, but at my home, like at my place where I live, we have like two trials park, one big like close to my home and one like under the bridge in city close to my home. So yeah, but you also have yeah. Zariace. Yeah, Zariace is close to my home as well, like fifty kilometers away. Mm-hmm. So and na- you have also natural. Huh? Yeah, like so he had everything. Awesome. So h- how many riders are there in Slovakia? I mean, if you guys have like uh, nationals, nationals, how many participants are there? On Actually, average. probably less than in Poland. Like no, I think it's the same. Yeah. Ah, but the more country the is smaller. Yeah. More is more or less the same. But the country is way smaller. Uh, 
Yeah, but... What's the population there? 10 years ago, it was double than in Poland. Really? So it's way more popular than here? It was. It used was. to be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, you have still much more young riders. Very young. Yeah. Much more than in Poland. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe that's because there's more mountains in the country. Mm. So it's just easier to access, like, you know, nice rocks. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's like here in Warsaw, we have only one place with, like, really nice rocks, but it's a museum. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's theoret- theoretically, it's prohibited to train there. Yeah. Maybe we just need to do a podcast about places to ride in Warsaw. It's a very yeah. great topic, yeah. Like with video, we can go with video, and then we will city. do mm-hmm. with video like we would do it with, we did with yep. the finals. Yeah, exactly. Good, nice. I and like we that. still don't finish the finals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got no more questions. Uh, Some you need to. Uh, Tell people about our podcast in Slovakian. Yeah, okay. this is the, this is the goal. Yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Everybody in Slovakia will know about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure. <laughs> okay, so you can do it now. Yeah. Okay. So everybody watch our podcast. Not not mine. <laughs> yeah. There is the boss in here, like those two guys. <laughs> so you can watch it and. Uh, but okay, can you but do the like, same thing in Slovak? But you need yeah. to do it in Slovakian. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like say it pure Slovakian. Takže každý, kto ste tu, pozerajte toto video, tak si to užite a pozerajte aj ďalej. A uvidíte ďalšie časti. <laughs> Perfektne. Tak. <laughs> Perfektne. Perfektne. <laughs> uh, nabíjačka do čet... Počítača. Počítačky. Počítača. Počítača? Tak. Dobra, to jest pytanie konkursowe. E, co to jest nabijaczka do poczytacza? Dzięki, że byliście z nami. No, pozdrawiamy. Thank you for watching. Yeah, see you. Yeah, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.